dun, dun, dun. Uncle L here. We got the Sharper Image uh, Wireless Party Speaker Review SBT1036. And uh, we'll go over this um, pretty decent sound. Uh, to get the lights working, you have to be past half or maybe about three fourths in that range for the lights to start dancing well. Uh, battery life is about three hours on max and what's nice is you can plug it in and then it'll still play so if the battery dies you can plug it into the wall it keeps going which is a key feature for me I'm like yeah just after a few beers and my speaker dies and I have to plug it in some speakers don't let the power go through and automatically play it uh, I think it's about an 8 inch speaker uh, the highs are pretty crisp, the mids are there, the bass is a little lacking, but this is a small unit, so I can live with it. Um, Bluetooth's easily 30 to 40 feet in an enclosed uh, warehouse, so it kept up. That's not bad. Uh, what else do we have? Volume's half decent, pretty loud. Uh, I got a little bit more before we'd be uncomfortable at from my work area so that's a little bit more I mostly control it through the phone via Bluetooth um, you could connect microphones there's one mic input two mic inputs uh, seems pretty sturdy the rolling feature it bobbles back and forth the wheels are too close together so I mostly carry it this is pretty lightweight and uh, let me show you the features right here's the LED button and I guess you can forward in advance and play. I guess if you have it hooked up, I never use those features. Let's shut off that annoying light. There's mic one, mic two, and it has modes. So maybe you can go into that. An auxiliary is probably a mode. And then you got that USB charge port right there. Um, volume, master volume, echo, mic volume. Who knows, I just may basically use the master. Then there's the power button. Uh, pretty dirty, dirty, sturdy. I haven't done too much. And there's the wheels. The wheelbase is too short, so it wobbles every time you extend it out. And it's just better to carry it. Uh, mine had instructions, uh, the auxiliary little cable. And a remote. I haven't tested the remote, but usually on these, you have to be within five feet. And uh, generally, a little ding right there. You have to be right in front, so you can't be behind, and you have to be real close. You have to push the buttons hard. This I bought on discount. Maybe the batteries are dead in here, but you have to be real close to this on generally when operating these and at the right angle. Other than that, can't complain. Um, everyone feels sad when I don't drag it into work and play my uh, crappy music, so I guess it works. So, for the price point, I think it was 60 bucks. Could be good for kids due to the lightweight. Um, I give it a go. So it's probably going to be with me for a little while till I find something else. Uncle L's out.